actually show you guys how long my hair is. Let me stand up. So right now it's like a little bit above my belly button, but I just got it cut. It was about to my belly button, but yeah, this is how long my hair is. Now I know how hard it can be to grow long hair. I've had short hair once in my life and it was a nightmare. I hated it. I'm not saying that I hate how short hair looks on other people. I love how it looks on other people, but for me personally, I just think I look ugh, not, not my best with short hair. So I personally love long hair and I'm going to be showing you guys my tips and tricks on how I grew out my hair and also how you can help maintain it and make it look healthy at the same time because I know sometimes when you want to grow out your hair and make it look very long, it can look kind of unhealthy at the ends. Hopefully this video will help you guys out if you're trying to grow your hair or just make it look healthier in general. And yeah, I guess we can just go ahead and get started. Starting off with my hair care routine, I wash my hair two days a week and I definitely don't recommend washing your hair every single day. That doesn't mean you shouldn't shower every day, you should definitely wash your body every single day. But as far as washing your hair, your hair really does not need shampoo every single day. That will just strip out the natural oils in your hair and prevent it from growing like it should. So the shampoo and conditioner that I'm currently using are the Herbal Essence Body Envy Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. I really love this line of shampoos. I find that it just volumizes my hair and it doesn't weigh my hair down at all. When it comes to shampooing your hair, you really want to focus on massaging it into the scalps of your hair and this is going to help stimulate the blood flow in your scalp and help your hair grow faster. You want to make sure that you're only shampooing the roots of your hair and not the ends. A lot of people don't realize that once you rinse off the shampoo, it automatically gets to your ends. So you don't have to worry about shampooing the ends of your hair. What you really want to focus on is your scalp. As for your conditioner, you want to do the opposite of your shampoo. So instead of putting conditioner onto the roots of your hair, you want to start it at the ends of your hair. So I usually like to apply conditioner about starting from here and down. Conditioning the scalps of your hair is going to make it really oily and also weigh your hair down, which is not what you want. Conditioner contains wax and silicone, which can actually clog up the pores of your scalp and prevent the hair from growing like it should. So definitely do not put conditioner into your scalp. It's a big no-no, only the ends of your hair. Once a week or even once every two weeks, I like to give my hair a nice deep condition. So I like to use the macadamia natural oil and I put this on the very ends of my hair like just at the tips makes it really soft and healthy looking you definitely don't want to overuse this product I would recommend only using it about once a week if even I like to use this especially when my hair is starting to feel really dry at the ends and it just prevents me from having to go get a haircut Sometimes I will also use the Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle in replace of the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. I find that this is a little bit more gentle. That is everything that I use on my hair in the shower. And after I get out of the shower, I like to use a wet brush. This is super... <laughs> this is super important, you guys, because a wet brush is super gentle on your hair. You don't want to use a regular brush such as... This one right here, it's a big no-no. Definitely stick with your wet brush. It's a lot more gentle and it's literally made for wet hair. Another tip that I have inside the shower is do not try to untangle your hair. Your hair is super fragile when it's wet and it's definitely better to just condition your hair and then detangle it after you get out with a wet brush. That is very important. Whenever you get out of the shower, make sure to not tug on your hair or go like this with a towel. It's just going to cause split ends. I used to do it all the time, but now I just wrap a towel on my hair and just place it on my head while I'm going to get ready and stuff. You don't want to use the towel as a tool to rub your hair like this or dry it. It's not a good idea. Heat is a big no-no when you're trying to grow out your hair and maintain it. It's just 
very damaging on your hair and it causes split ends. So if you can, let your hair air dry. I will definitely thank you for it. Now that we're done talking about showering tips, I'm going to be showing you guys how to maintain second and third day hair. Dry shampoo, if you guys have not tried this, you are definitely missing out. I can literally go a week without shampooing my hair if I want to by using this product. This in particular is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. You can find this at Ulta Urban Outfitters, I think Target? Correct me if I'm wrong but definitely, definitely recommend this dry shampoo. You wanna focus your dry shampoo just like you would do your regular shampoo. You wanna apply your dry shampoo to the scalps of your hair and massage it in as you would massage in your shampoo. And this is just going to help give your hair volume and texture and make it look less oily. It will definitely save you from having to shampoo as often as you normally would. I recently ran out of this stuff and I was dying because I was literally finding myself needing to shampoo like every other day and it was very annoying so I'm super glad now I'm stocked up once again and this definitely is a lifesaver for second and third day hair. Another tip for maintaining second and third day hair is just to put it up, put it up in a bun, in a ponytail, whatever you need to do. Also, now that it's coming into winter, I feel like you can also wear beanies and hats. Whatever it takes to cover up the greasiness, just do it. In the beginning, it's going to be hard to get into the not shampooing every single day routine. Your hair needs training and it's going to take time. So just do what you have to do in order to not shower every single day. It's definitely a working progress. It's not going to happen overnight. In the beginning, I also washed my hair every single day and then I slowly but surely toned it down to every three days. If I could do it, I know that you guys can do it too. Just get yourself some dry shampoo and you can do it. I promise you it's not that hard. Once you get your hair into the routine of not needing shampoo every single day, you're going to notice a huge difference. As far as cutting my hair, I only cut my hair about two times a year. I know there's so many theories out there that say you need to cut your hairs every six weeks, every two months, whatever. I personally do not believe in any of that. I feel like you can cut your hair whenever you feel like it's most dead. This stuff is going to save your life, especially around the time when you feel like your hair needs a haircut. If you just put this on the ends of your hair after you get out of the shower, it's really going to make it look revitalized and look like you don't have split ends and it's gonna moisturize it and make it look less dead and it's just amazing all around. And the last tip that I have for you guys is eat protein. Protein such as fish, eggs, and chicken are so good for your hair. Your hair is actually made up of protein so eating protein is only going to help it so much more. Chicken also has zinc and iron which helps the hair grow a